Welcome to the NYU Health Sciences Library Introduction to the new PubMed. You may have heard that starting this year, PubMed is releasing a new interface. This new interface has improved retrieval and will better help you find this information that you're looking for. Some of the new features include the ability to better sense the words that you enter to find appropriate subject headings and other terms that will enhance your search. It will also find synonyms for the words that you enter and plural forms, find British and American spellings, and truncate your terms to find different endings that might be appropriate. The biggest change is that results will be sorted in best match order, where PubMed uses the words you enter to try to find the most likely match on your results, sort of like a Google search. Let's take a look. You can start your search from the NYU Health Sciences Library webpage. You'll see in the PubMed search box, I've entered the term Little League Elbow. Now I'm going to click on the magnifying glass icon to run my search. Initially, my search results are going to come up in the PubMed that you're used to. This is the legacy PubMed. If I want to switch to the new PubMed site, I can click on this link. One thing you'll notice right away is that the results on the new PubMed are sorted by best match. This is the new default. Best match means that PubMed has used an algorithm to take the words you've entered and try to match the citations and abstracts that are in its database. If you don't want to use this display option, you can click here and switch to something like most recent or publication date. One other thing you may notice is that the filters or limits are on the left hand side. You see here a graphic representation of how many results I have going back over the years. If I decide I don't want to go back all the way to 1972, I can drag this over and limit my results to just those a little more recent. I can also limit to text availability. I can limit to studies that have data associated with them. Or if I scroll all the way down, I can see all the filters or limits that are available to me through PubMed. If I have citations I want to hold on to, the process hasn't changed that much in the new PubMed versus the old PubMed. I can still check whatever citations I'm interested in. And then at the top, you'll see a send to box. If I click there, I can send them to my clipboard to hold on to them temporarily. My bibliography, if it's an item that I've actually been a co-author on, collections to hold on to them more permanently, and to set something to collections, you'll need a MyNCBI account. Or if I want to save these citations to EndNote or another citation manager, I would check here. One area where you'll see a lot of changes in the new PubMed is looking at an individual citation. I'm going to scroll down here and click on this second citation to show you what I mean. You see here I can navigate from citation to citation using the arrows on the left and right hand side. And if I hover over those arrows, I actually see a little bit of information about the citation. Here are the links to full text that you're used to. Please note, in order to see the NYU Health Sciences Library link to full text, you need to start your search from the Health Sciences Library's webpage. Here's a new feature. You can actually see a quick citation um, in a variety of formats for the article that you've pulled up. So here, if I want to see what my citation would look like in the NLM format, I can use this drop-down menu and it will change. I can also copy it as text or download it in order to import it to a citation manager like EndNote. I can add the citation to one of my favorites to go back and check later. For you to use favorites, you'll need a MyNCBI account. I can also jump through the citation itself using this navigation on the side and share the citation in LinkedIn, Facebook, or just copy the link and share it someplace else. Another great function in new PubMed when you're in the citation view is that you can leverage this citation to find more citations on your topic. If I scroll down, I see a list of similar articles. Again, 
PubMed has algorithms that it uses to compare words to see if it finds matches and see what is likely to be interesting to you. This is a list of just a few, but if I want to see a longer list, I can click here to see all of them. Another great way to leverage one citation to find more is to see what publications have cited your citation and what publications were cited by your citation. PubMed has added that functionality in its update, too. I can click here to see what articles in PubMed Central have cited the citation I'm looking at and what citations it has included. New PubMed is available on mobile, too. You'll be able to log into your MyNCBI account, run an advanced search, access your filters or limits easily at the top of your search results, you can even access that timeline I showed you to limit your results by year. You can change your sort order from best match to whatever you please. You can share citations or link to full text. Once new PubMed is the default, several tools that have been in development will become fully available, including the ability to save searches in your MyNCBI account. On or after May 18th, the new PubMed will be live as the default. For a short period of time, both the legacy and new PubMed versions will be available. If you want more information, you can check out the new PubMed transition FAQs. There's a link on the legacy PubMed page and in the description for this video. If you have questions, you can always use the Health Sciences Library webpage to either ask a quick question, request a consult or training, or request an article that you cannot find. Thank you.